Welcome to Local Sounds TV. My name is Sheba McCants. I'll be your host, where we bring you the most in-depth coverage of local music in Madison, Wisconsin. On July 25th, 2009, the Mamas hosted their second annual artist showcase at the Memorial Union Terrace, one of the most exciting and highly coveted performance locations in Madison, Wisconsin. Gorgeous, gorgeous views of the lake. Just some of the best memories of summer come from the Union Terrace. And I was able, I was able to sit down and talk with our first, one of the featured performers at the event, Gladstone. And I was able to sit down and talk to them about the, some of their upcoming events and um, their performance that evening. Why, hello there. We are here tonight with Gladstone. I'm lucky enough to have interviewed them a couple months ago at the Mamas. Um, we're here tonight at the world-renowned, or locally renowned Union Terrace. Um, how, how was your show tonight? How did you feel? The Terrace is such a great venue. It really is. It was a fantastic show. We've, we've all been in Madison for a long time and this has always been kind of a dream gig for a bunch of us. And uh, really privileged to be out here with the Mamas. It was awesome. I love the atmosphere. The weather was beautiful. The scenery was beautiful. Great time. So uh, I just want to kind of get an update. You know, what's new? What's going on with the band? What's fresh? What's going on? Well, this summer we've been uh, kind of hanging out in the in the studio, practicing a lot. We're planning on writing a new album again, going back into the studio next year. Um, starting to plan on some regional touring in uh, October, and uh, that's that's about it. That's what we're working on. August nineteenth, we'll be yeah. out at Scats. Okay, yeah, we've got a big gig coming up August nineteenth. Can you that's tell right. me more about the gig? Yeah. Uh, it's actually bike night out at Scats. Which I bike think is night. Gonna be, it's going to be quite interesting. Wow. Uh, a juxtaposition, if you will. Okay. This this is going to be an interesting <laughs> night. And I, I hear that you like Scats. You've been there. Yeah, it's a great venue. You know, they treat everybody really well. and It's good to hear. Uh, I mean, it's yeah. always nice to hear about new venues in Madison. I think it's definitely something to be excited about. Absolutely. It's very, very polished, high energy. The showcase that evening also featured 2009 Female Vocalist of the Year, Danielle Brittany. I was able to sit down with her and talk to her about her experience performing with her new band that evening on the terrace, as well as her upcoming album release, which we are definitely awaiting here at Local Sounds TV. And here I am, here I am with the interview with Danielle Brittany. Tonight is the Union Terrace gig. Yes. Now I know lots of artists, you know, would would do would do just about anything to get up on that stage. How did that feel? Oh, it was it was absolutely magical. Uh, I've always wanted to play the terrace. Really? Always. I mean, even as a little kid, yes. my family, we had a boat, and we'd be out on the lake, and I'd hear the bands, and I was like, I just, I want to do that someday. Definitely, because you're a native Madisonian. Yes, yes, right, I grew so up in Madison. Up maybe coming to the terrace when yes, you were a child. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. Definitely. Yeah. So how did how did you feel the crowd was? How, oh, was they were lively? awesome. I saw a lot of familiar faces from the yes. Mamas. So that yes. was really, really nice that they all came out. You know, all the definitely. other bands supporting each other. That's that's awesome. Definitely. There's definitely a community that's sort of forming around the Mamas, and that that's feels Madison really good. That's Madison and the Mamas, it and sure I, I love that about it. I love that I'm involved with this. It's really, definitely. oh, God, it's an honor. A great community to be a part of. Absolutely. Uh, so I understand that it was your first time performing up there with the live band. Yes, it was our first time playing together. Definitely. And uh, oh my god, it was so much fun. It was absolutely so much fun. The rehearsals, it, it made me feel like a real musician. Definitely. Yeah. It makes a big difference. From studio to playing live, it's, it's a big jump. So we, we almost had some rain out there. Oh my gosh, I know. I was looking up to the heavens and I was like, please no, please no. We thought it was a little, maybe a little ironic singing, singing Rihanna Umbrella, you know. I know, I needed my umbrella. Many people Ella. didn't have theirs. Ella. A. 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 <laughs> yeah. I mean, what are the I odds? ran in. I was like, my hair. I can't do it. No, can't do I it. know, right? I was thinking, oh man, this is all going to go. Like, it's going to be like a poodle. <laughs> it's going to be a, just a hot mess, and I'm, I'm not trying to have that. But it was all right, though. It was all right. It only rained for a little bit. It was only about two minutes. The big guy upstairs, he was on my side tonight. He was pushing <laughs> that out of the way. <laughs> Definitely. On July 24th at the Wisco, we were also able to cover local group Damadol's album release party for their album entitled William Shatner's Pex. Ricky Bruner of Local Sounds TV has the interview. Ninety-five percent of other bands are better than us, and that gives us our edge. I 
Anything else? No, I'm just kidding. We're actually better than anything on the radio. Yeah, they go. This is the word. Badman, boy, yeah, they go. It's not bad. 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 In other news, in, in other very exciting news, the Wisconsin Historical Society Museum is hosting a series of events coming up this fall called Blues Meets Jazz. Uh, the first event that, of the fall will be on September 11th, and it's featuring the Bob Corbett Trio. Uh, the location it's 30 North Carroll Street. The doors open at 6 p.m. and there's a $5 suggested donation. If you want to find out more information about Blues Meets Jazz and the series, you can check out localsoundsmagazine.com. Also, we want you to keep in mind we've got some really other, some other very exciting festivals and events coming up yet this summer. We've got the Madison Roots Festival, which is going to take place on August 22nd at the Capitol Brewery. Um, if you want to find out a little more information about that, you can go to 1055MMM.com. And who could forget about one of the best events of the summer, in my opinion, the Taste of Madison. And that's coming up this Labor Day weekend on September 5th and 6th, right on the Capitol Square. And as always, you can find this news, additional stories, album release information, and more at localsounds.org.